Welcome to our program on Straight Talk today. I'm pleased to have Dr. Felicia Townsend, the program director for the Hygieia Network and ISSA Charity. And today, our focus is on the impact of the Hygieia Network and what is happening right now, and also what we can look for in the future as far as programming and opportunities. Felicia, welcome. Oh, wow, Jeff. Thank you so much for having me back on the show. I'm so excited to be here. So am I. We're going to talk about some good stuff. Hygieia, what a powerful program. And I know it's close to your heart, but I want to thank you for all you do oh, with the Hygieia you. Network and, and helping all those involved. Yeah. Felicia, you're making a measurable difference with the organization. So there's that. But can you tell us about your years with Hygieia and what you value the most about it. You know what? I started with Hygieia in 2019. And, you know, I started around the time when um, the show was in full gear. The preparation for the show was in full gear. So it was like October 2019. You know, I had to jump right in. And I started immediately working on Hygieia's um, annual awards reception. And so it was very exciting. Um, and so then all of a sudden, a few months later, the pandemic hit, you know, we had to, we were thrust into this virtual world. And, and so we had to develop uh, webinars. Uh, we had to shift our conferences to a virtual format. Um, and so we also had a mentoring program that was already virtual. So we had to increase membership there. So it was a, it was a different time. Um, and so as we got through all of this, you know, I want to say that, you know, I had the support and I continue to have the support of our council and our committee members. When I started, uh, with Hygieia, uh, Meredith Rubin was the, uh, the council chair and so I want to just give an analogy of building a house. So when I was working with Meredith, we were laying the foundation for Hygieia. Okay. And so it was a great time. And then, so when Meredith's tenure ended, uh, Laura Craven and Linda Silverman um, came on board uh, as the council co-chair. So they continued uh, to build on this house that, so to speak, that we were building. And so then all of a sudden, you know, we have two dynamic women, um, uh, two new leaders uh, for the council. We have Maureen Carroll and Kim Price. And so now they're putting putting the finishing touches on this house. So it's a wonderful group of women uh, and men that I work with through Hygieia. Uh, we have a very strong um, council. Uh, we have a very strong committee. Uh, we have 80 plus volunteers. Um, these folks are spread out across eight committees, a council, an executive advisory board. Um, they give of their time, uh, their resources, and it's just a wonderful way um, for the industry to give back in Hygieia in this way. And, and I'm just so proud of the work that we're all doing uh, to help further our mission. Yeah, Felicia, I remember when I met you, it was at the ISSA office. <laughs> you were just starting work and I, I was in the office and we sat down to talk about Hygieia, what you're going to do and the magazines that I manage. And you're like, what can I, how can I use these? What can I do? <laughs> That, Jeff, and I think we were talking about straight talk, and here I am on straight talk. So that I remember that very well. Yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, it was a good day, and and since then we've uh, been picking up steam. So good story. Thanks for for sharing that. Um, yes. Let Let's talk about this. What type of events and opportunities do you offer those who are involved with Hygieia? Yes. Um, well, Jeff, you know, we have several uh, signature programs that we offer. Um, one of our main programs is our networking and leadership conference. So this is where we bring together uh, men and women from across the industry. Uh, they share their career journeys. Uh, we also have uh, subject matter experts um, who cover, you know, issues that are related to the topic that we're discussing and the theme for the conference. Um, for example, on August August 23rd in Portland, Oregon. Uh, we'll hold our, our conference at the uh, Sheridan Portland Airport. Um, and the theme is Workplace Allies, the power of having someone in your corner. Um, so this conference actually is being sponsored by Maintex Inc. and American Paper Converting. 
you know, we also cover uh, various uh, webinars that cover various topics uh, that's relevant to, to our constituents. Um, and also very importantly, uh, Jeff, that I'm, I'm really proud of Hygieia's uh, mentoring program. Uh, this program has been around for several years and it connects, you know, professionals with leaders in the industry. So um, I encourage, you know, uh, ISSA uh, members to get involved with Hygieia through our mentoring program. Um, we also have a regional communities uh, that's really growing in number and, you know, folks Folks can join and get involved in our online presence on LinkedIn, um, as well as our meet and greets that we have across the country. And also, um, recently, we launched um, the Hygieia Online Learning Portal. Um, this is where we house all of our past webinars and all of our past uh, conferences. Uh, we also um, house our um, uh, DePaul University Career Ed Certificate Program. Um, and this program is designed uh, to help you know, young professionals and even those mid-level uh, and senior level professionals uh, to kind of grow in their career. We cover different modules in this particular program, um, career planning and strategy, personal talent assessment, and crafting and communicating your brand. So all of these things, Jeff, are housed on the online portal. Now, I do want to mention, Jeff, that um, I would say maybe a few weeks ago, uh, we launched our educational grant program. Uh, Hygieia, we are so excited because we believe in giving back uh, to, our, to our members. And so one way to do that is through a grant that's valued at about $700. And so once you apply and you're accepted, it's a very competitive process, um, you would gain access to all of the programming on our online portal, um, as well as one in-person conference. And that conference would actually be the one that's being taken, uh, that's taking place on August 23rd um, in Portland. So we're excited. It's, it's just a great thing, Jeff. How do you keep that straight? <laughs> that's a lot of stuff. <laughs> you know, Jeff, I tell you, um, it's so much with Hygieia. I don't even know how I'm even sitting here looking at you right now. I mean, I drink like three cups of coffee uh, every morning. Um, I say a prayer and then I get to work. All right. Yeah, you're <laughs> doing great. Yeah, keeping Thank all you. that organized. I imagine sometimes it's like herding cats, but uh, <laughs> you're doing it. You're making it happen. Thank you, Jeff. Um, let's talk about the data. You know, I think people watching this would like to know how many are involved, where they're from, and also, how do you see the Hygieia Network growing beyond what it's done so far? What do you think? You know what, Jeff, that's a great question. I love to lead with the data, so to speak. So I just want to say that we currently have 805 members who have joined Hygieia um, as a part of a campaign that we launched in 2021. Um, I would say 17% of our members are international. So we have representation from Canada, Finland, France, Germany, Ghana, India, Ireland, Lebanon, South Africa, Philippines. I mean, it goes on and on. So we're actually on track um, to reach 1,000 Hygieia members by the end of 2023. So um, also, too, I want to say that from 2019 uh, to 2023, we have presented 12 networking and leadership conferences, 15 webinars, Okay. <laughs> and then all of that, we secured 4,800 attendees. I mean, so can you imagine? We've come a very long way, Jeff. Um, since 2019, we have created eight regional communities, seven in the U.S., one in Canada. You know, these folks are coming together. They're networking online. They're meeting in person in these informal settings. Um, and it's a wonderful thing. Also, those regional communities have a presence on LinkedIn. They have their own group where folks can engage, they can share resources. So it's just a wonderful way that, you know, we're bringing all of these members together from across uh, the world, actually, uh, to be a part of our mission to elevate women in the industry. So I'm really excited. Um, I do want to touch on, you know, how 
I see Hygieia continuing to grow. Um, and there are various components to this and, and I'm excited to, to talk about it. So of course we wanna continue the growth of you know, increasing Hygieia's presence in the US. We're doing that, we're doing fantastic. Also, we want to increase the growth of Hygieia International. Right now, Canada makes up a very large percentage of our membership internationally. You know, Hygieia, for example, will participate um, in the ISSA Canada show in June. Uh, Hygieia will have a panel discussion um, where we'll have women and men represented on the panel. Um, also recently, um, Hygieia participated, uh, well, we hosted actually a panel discussion at the ISSA Premier Show in Milan. Um, so we are looking to increase our presence in Europe. So I do encourage everyone uh, to stay tuned for that. So that is one growth area. A second growth area that I see for Hygieia, Jeff, um, is the continued growth of our sponsorships uh, for Hygieia. Um, Sandy Wolfram is doing a fantastic job. She serves as our Director of Development for ISSA Charities. Um, and so it is her role uh, to help in the efforts of securing sponsors. So currently we have 42 sponsors. Um, our sponsors, they see the value uh, in our program. So not only do they give, their employees actually take advantage of the benefits that their sponsorship offers. So since 2019, Jeff, over 1,600 employees from our sponsor companies have participated in our conferences. Okay, that's a lot of sponsor participation. 200 of those sponsor employees have participated in our mentoring program. So that is that is a wonderful thing. And so now recently, um, we decided to offer the benefit to our sponsors of gaining access to our DePaul University Career Ed Certificate Program. So if you are a, a sponsor at a certain level, you'll gain so many free access passes where your employees will gain so many access passes to the DePaul program. So it's just a wonderful thing that we're doing um, by giving back to uh, our sponsors. Another area, Jeff, I know I talk a lot, but I'm going to continue on. I think you want me to do this. <laughs> so um, male allyship is another critical area um, that we want to see growth in. So um, Hygieia is cr increasing the number of men who participate in Hygieia. I think there was initially a perception that Hygieia was only for women, uh, but we do understand that the support of men is critical um, in the success of what we do. Um, I do wanna just pull a report that I, I saw uh, from Bentley University uh, Center for Women and Business. Um, and they stated that male allies, they stated that male allies are men who associate with, cooperate with and support women. OK, so our goal is to bring on more allies. Um, you know, Hygieia even started a male ally committee, uh, which is led by John Engel from CentOS. And I mean, I sat in on their first meeting a couple of weeks ago. And I mean, you have the who's who uh, in the industry on this particular committee. So we are looking forward uh, to the great work that they're going to produce um, that will help to shine light on all the great work uh, that women are doing um, in the industry. One more thing, Jeff, and I think I, I'll let you ask me the next question. Um, so uh, frontline workers is another key area. You know, we want to get in front of those BSCs. We want to be able to provide them with the, you know, the quality programming uh, that will help them in the work that they do. Um, and so we actually started a uh, frontline worker subcommittee. Uh, so this subcommittee will develop uh, programming content. Um, they'll also develop um, strategies to help recruit more frontline workers uh, into the Hygieia community. Wow. Okay. Sign me up. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> well, you, you know, I'm part of the Hygieia Network just by doing this interview with you. So right? <laughs> that's yeah. right. No, good stuff. Uh, so many things. Let's talk about ISSA being 100 years old now at 2023. I think everyone knows that by now. We've been discussing our anniversary. And women in the industry have come a long way in 100 years. 
you know, you look at uh, a little over a hundred years ago, women couldn't even vote. Hmm. Things have changed. Yeah. How does Hygieia value that and recognize that? You know, that's an interesting question. And I do want to say that, yes, since a hundred years ago, ISSA in particular has, has done a fantastic job of, you know, getting more women on its board actually. Um, and in terms of the industry in general, yeah, we see more women uh, taking on these leadership roles, but I do want to just kind of go back to the data a little bit. Um, there was a recent article that appeared in us news. It was a March 23, um, online version of it. And it talked about Women held 31% of top executive positions across industries in 2021. This was just a five point increase from 2015, okay, which is, you know, a little progress there. But despite making up 47% of the American workforce, women hold just 42% of all managerial positions. So these rates have, you know, increased over time, uh, but still we, we see that men still hold a, a disproportionate number of those roles, you know, but Hygieia, you know, we are helping in this effort, you know, Hygieia serves as the voice of women in the industry, Jeff. So, you know, we are here to provide those resources, you know, that education, that networking, that mentoring opportunities for women from the C-suite, all the way down to the frontline worker. So those 80 plus volunteers that I mentioned earlier, those folks serve as our ambassadors for Hygieia. You know, they spread the word, they tell our story within their organizations. They also tell their story, our story to peers outside of the organization. So, you know, so this is how Hygieia is playing a role um, in helping to advance more women leaders in the industry is through the support. Um, it takes a village and everyone is, is working in this effort. Um, but from a public forum standpoint, you know, um, I'm proud to say that, you know, Hygieia does a fantastic job at celebrating women. Um, and we do that at our annual uh, awards reception, which takes place at the ISSA show North America, which will of course be in November in Vegas. Um, so we, of course, have our Rising Star Company of the Year, Member of the Year awards that we'll give out. We also, Jeff, we're adding three new awards. We have an International Member of the Year, Ally of the Year, and Mentor of the Year. So once again, these are just great ways that we celebrate um, individuals and companies in our industry. Um, so it's just a great thing. Yeah, it is. It is great. Thank you for sharing that. Mm -hmm. Just thinking about what's happened over the years and the progress made. It's it's good to see and to and to be able to get that on tape here today. Yes. Let's talk about this, Felicia. Um, and maybe you've covered this a bit, but challenges. You know, if you were to pinpoint some specific challenges Hygieia has helped women in the industry deal with, what would some of those be? Well, that's a good point. I jotted down a few things here. I think one challenge is, you know, securing mentors. I think a lot of people don't even know how to go about doing it. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. I have a couple already. Um, so I think women don't know how to make that connection. Um, they don't know how to get in front of, uh, you know, they don't know, they don't really know how to do it. So I will tell you this, Hygieia has a simple way to do it. We have a mentoring program um, that is housed on our own mentoring platform. So we tell folks all the time, join our mentoring program. You'll gain access to a database, okay, of professional leaders in the industry who you can reach out to and connect with. So, you know, even though that's a challenge, Hygieia is coming back with, hey, we have a solution. And the solution is our mentoring program. It's free to join. It's open to everyone in the cleaning industry. And so we do encourage folks to, you know, overcome that challenge by, you know, using our platform to gain access to those mentors. Another area that I see a lot of folks, um, you know, challenged with is this whole idea of, you know, how do I network and how do I get in the room? How do I sit at the table? 
it's, <laughs> you know, it's so much going on with that. So what Hygieia has done and continues to do, you know, we create these programs, these environments, meet and greets, leadership and, and uh, networking conferences. You know, these are ways for our members to come together and network and get in front of that person um, that you're trying to, to connect with or learn from or get a job from or who knows what you're trying to do. Um, so the goal, of course, is to use those type of, you know, opportunities um, to 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 get what you need in, from a networking standpoint, because a lot of people don't. It's, it's like an art to networking. Um, and, I, you know, I want to say something, too. When we talk about networking, Jeff. At our last conference that we held at Neil Fisk, um, Neil Fisk was a sponsor of that in, in Minnesota. I had so many women come up to me and say, Felicia, I'm so happy to be here because I'm reconnecting with someone that I met at a previous conference. I mean, folks are starting book clubs and, <laughs> you know, and things of that nature. So it's just a wonderful way to do it. I mean, use Hygieia as that platform to, to get what you need. Um, and so, Use our meet and greets. You know, that's another way to do it. We have these meet and greets across the U.S., uh, across Canada. Uh, these are places where people come together in a very informal setting uh, to network and share ideas and resources and get to know each other. Um, so, you know, I, Hygieia has it all. Um, and so those are really the challenges, networking, mentoring, but Hygieia has to answer for that. We have our mentoring program and we have networking um, activities that, our members can become involved in. And I will say, Jeff, um, you don't necessarily have to be a member of Hygieia to attend a conference, to attend a meet and greet. So I, I do want to clarify that. Uh, but we do encourage people uh, to get involved with Hygieia and take advantage of all that we have to offer. You know, all good stuff, Felicia. But I'll say recently I talked to a young business woman who wants to be in the mentorship program. I think she's going to be. But mm -hmm. she was like eager to be paired with someone who could help her. I, I just yeah. love that. Just these young entrepreneurial thinking women are like, you know, they want to grow. And and I don't know if it's a humble spirit or what, mm. but to say, I, I want help, I need help. Yes. And get it, I think that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. It's a wonderful thing, Jeff. I mean, it's a wonderful thing. And I tell people when they join on the platform, I think one important thing is not to get discouraged. Um, if, you know, someone doesn't respond to your request, it's really about putting it out there, finding out if that person wants to connect with you. And if it is a good match, the match will happen. Um, but the platform is there. It's a strong uh, mentoring program. And I just do encourage young professionals, old, older professionals <laughs> uh, to get involved. <laughs> seasoned, seasoned professionals. That's it, right. You know what? Exactly. Maybe we need to just rephrase that. Yes. No, it's it's all good. Young, we, young professionals, we do encourage, I'll say it again, Jeff, young professionals and seasoned professionals to get involved. Exactly. We'll use that seasoned. We're yes. all getting older, but understand. <laughs> All right. So to wrap it up, Felicia, I know you're passionate about the Hygieia Network, the mission. What do you want those watching to do now? What's the next step for those who are not involved, perhaps? You know, um, well, I do encourage you first. The first main step is to join Hygieia. OK, so you can join Hygieia uh, by visiting um, HygieiaNetwork.org. Uh, forward slash join. Um, so when you join Hygieia, you'll gain access to all of our resources. Um, you will gain access to our e-blast, our e-newsletter. Um, any information about Hygieia, you will receive it. Um, also too, Jeff, I do encourage people to follow Hygieia, uh, ISSA Hygieia Network's company page on LinkedIn. Um, that is where we promote a lot of our programs. We actually, matter of fact, we promote all of our programs um, on the platform. It's just a good way to stay connected with what we're doing. And also another way um, that folks can get involved with Hygieia is just spreading the word about what we do. That's a good step. 
Because once you start to talk about Hygieia, I mean, doors start to open and, and opportunities start to happen uh, for all those who are involved. Um, we also have eight committees, as, our, as I mentioned, Jeff. You know, we are periodically, we look for new volunteers. So if you have an interest in joining a committee, um, you can reach out to me and then I can see if there's availability and we can get you involved that way as well. And just spread the word internally at your organizations about the Hygieia Network. So, um, so that yeah. So those are just some of the ways that folks can can get involved. Fantastic. Well, Felicia, this has been great. Good information, important, yeah. impactful. Yeah. So we'll make sure everyone sees this and watch the Hygieia Network get to what a thousand. Yeah. That's it. That's the goal by the end of 2023. So when you All talk right. to me in 2024, I better have a thousand, over a thousand folks in, in the database. <laughs> well, if you don't, I'm going to hide. <laughs> Believe me, we're, we're going to reach that goal. Now, now I'm, pu I'm putting pressure on myself. Uh, but yeah, we're going to, we're going to reach it. Yeah. Good work. Talk to you later. Thank you. Mm -hmm.